Greetings, Earthlings. We're going to do something a little different today. Um, take a look at this Tascam recorder. I was looking for a uh, recorder that could record four tracks simultaneously to SD. And I realized I had one, and that's this one. Unfortunately, the form factor is not what I would like. Um, I want it to run off of uh, AC. This is uh, uh, basically a battery-powered device, although it will run off of USB power. Um, it, it just it doesn't run without batteries installed. I'll, I'll demonstrate. So, I mean, here's the battery compartment, and there's no batteries currently in it. Here's a USB adapter. If I plug that in and plug it in over here and attempt to power it on, you see it comes up, USB select, bus power or storage. I say bus power, yes, and it asks for the time or the date. Okay, well, it's 2022 something. I don't care. And then it goes dead. Okay. <laughs> Just turns itself off. So that's annoying. Um, so what I have in mind, since USB power is 5 volts, I'm thinking I can be powered from 5 volts. Um, through the battery compartment here. And uh, so, I mean, although nominally it would be 6 volts, but, you know, it uses normally AA alkaline batteries, and they have a discharge curve. They're not, you know, they're, they're nominally rated at, at 1.5 volts, but they start at above one and a half, and as they discharge, you know, when are they dead? At like 1.0, 1.1, somewhere around there. So they do pass through 1.25, which would be four times, you know, four times 1.25 is five volts. So it ought to run on five volts. Plus, I, I doubt that uh, they're doing anything fancy with the five volts coming in from the USB uh, port to, uh, to raise it up to six volts or something like that. So what I'm going to try, I have this power supply back here, which is set to 5 volts. And the connections, let me see, I tilt this up so you can see a little better. This, this is positive, this is negative, the way, the way it works. Um, this connects over to here, and then they're, they're sort of in series. Um, so that's the positive connection, that's the negative connection right there. Okay, so... Here's my five volts out. And if I connect that to there, and five volts, well, I'm gonna have to turn it back around to operate, but, okay. I'm holding that on to there, and let's press the power button. This is like a three-hand operation, I think, to do this properly. Okay, just like before. Oh, no, see, it came right up. There you go. Um, yeah, and the battery indicator, I don't know if you can see that on there. It's right up here, and it shows like two bars. Can you see, can you see that with all the reflections and everything? So it's, uh, it's certainly willing to operate on 5 volts. Okay. So how do I get 5 volts in? Well, one way is to take this out. There's just two screws this lifts out. Um, I could cut the wires. I, I don't want to make any modifications to it that aren't 100% reversible. So what I thought about here is I have some nylon, half-inch uh, nylon round rod and this I just sort of cut off by eye downstairs it turns out I came pretty close to the length without even without even measuring and without having a double-a uh, a, a battery as reference when I did it um, but you see 
that can fit in there. So what I'm thinking is to take this and then um, like put a screw, you know, thread it for a screw, which would allow um, a ring terminal to bring the plus and minus five in, and then uh, and then I'll have and then I'll have those which can be which can be plugged in with absolutely no modifications to this. I have this, which is a uh, five volt four amp power supply, DC, uh, which is more than it needs. Did we look at at that meter and see how much it's drawing? Ah, maybe I should maybe I should bring it back, turn it on again. So what uh, what we're seeing on the meter here is uh, is the current that it's drawing. Okay, there we go. So with no uh, with no load, this can this can actually um, provide phantom power, and that's going to increase the uh, the load. But with no load, it looks like about 350 milliamps. Uh, let me plug in a couple of microphones just to see uh, just to see how much the phantom power soaks up. Okay, well we're gonna we'll do one microphone. Here's an SM81. I'll plug that in, and then uh, that'll give us some indication. That is in channel one so if I go over well we'll uh, we'll see what the difference is okay so this is annoying I have to hold it here okay there it is idle and if I turn phantom power on Oh, there we go. So maybe another 100 milliamps or so. So it's going to draw with both microphones operating on phantom power. Still under an amp, but uh, over half an amp. So I really don't need a uh, 4 amp supply, but that's what I have handy. And... Uh, so that's what I'm going to use. It doesn't hurt to have excess capacity until you, you know, accidentally short something out and then you put four amps to it instead of one and kablooey. Uh, the sparks fly, the, 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 uh, the smoke gets let out. Um, so then people have concerns. Well, what if this is a switching supply? You know, won't that add noise? Because over over the batteries. Well, I'd have to say that every USB uh, supply is a switching supply. So I, I, I don't really think that's much of an issue. Um, it's got to have appropriate filtering in it to allow for that. But let's... Uh, Let's play with the uh, let's play with the electronic load. So what I'm going to do here is take. Let's see. This is already this is this is already connected up to the rear terminals on that. So we'll see. It's 5.15 volts. That's all well and good. I'm going to take these here. Connect up to the load. Which is currently switched off. But you can see it's showing the 5 volts there. Um, so 
let me turn this on. Okay, that's at about half an amp, three millivolts ripple. Okay, so I'm not gonna, I'm not going to uh, be cons. I don't think that it's gonna cause any, any noise. So I'm gonna go to my little machine shop downstairs and make me up some. Uh, fake batteries. You see, that's about the right diameter as well. These are a little larger than, than a half inch, but as you saw, this fits fine. Okay, and here's the finished product. Uh, I've made it idiot proof. Uh, this will be the positive, this will be the negative. So, um, you, if you were to try to put the, uh, the negative side into uh, you know, put them in the wrong things, uh, it wouldn't make contact with the, I don't know, is that on there? No, no, well, anyway, see that down there? Yeah, yeah, wouldn't make contact with that, with that point there, so that's, that's for the plus, that's for the minus, um, and, uh, we can verify, you see I use brass uh, screws just because I could. Checking that the polarity is correct on the meter here. Uh, I said checking, there it is, yeah, plus five volts, okay. So I ought to be able to go ahead and plug it in here. Install it. This is plus. Fits in there nicely. This is minus. Now I can't put the back cover on because the uh, the leads are in the way, but that's okay. And let's see if it'll go ahead and. Power up. There it comes. Oh, and it's forgot the date and time. Well, it's uh, 2022. Uh, what is today? Two, I don't know, 26 or something. And the time. Uh, sure, close enough. Okay. Da 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 Boom, it's on. Okay. Um, again, I can plug in the SM81. Oops. I wish the backlight, I wish I had a way to make that stay on, uh, given that uh, it's now AC powered, but I don't think I do, because they're trying to save, you know, preserve battery life. Um, what the heck? Okay, are you sure? Yes. Check, check, check. Oops. Check, check, check. Yeah, you can see, you can see there that, uh, well, maybe you can see because it's so dark. Again, I wish the backlight was on. Um, is there a backlight? Da 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 da. Da 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 da. I forget. Menu. Input setting, record settings, auto record, play settings, browse, others, others. I like that. Information for how many remote system. I don't know. I don't know. System. Backlight. Oh, here we go. Backlight. Always. Ha ha ha. All right. How do I go home? Home. Okay, there you go. The backlight is on. You can see uh, as I speak here, I'm getting, uh, I'm getting a signal. 
and uh, I can adjust that so that it starts possibly starts clipping I don't know check one two check 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 I think there may be adjustments for the sensitivity of each uh, uh, each input but in reality uh, I'm likely to use uh, lion I have external microphone preamps so I don't really need to use the internal preamps I just set it to line but uh, I just wanted to show that it indeed is happy I've got two bars on the battery life indicator which means we're not running out of battery anytime soon or ever <laughs> um, all right I'm gonna switch off switch off the phantom power and uh, oh no oh no it's gone okay that's pretty good um, so there you have it there we go that's what it looks like just two um, two nylon rods because that's what I had half inch diameter and then with uh, with screws to uh, to act as the contacts and then these are just you know crimp connectors um, and on this one again there's a there's a little uh, indentation or whatever you want to call that uh, to keep it from causing problems if you were to put that one over here it won't make contact and so you won't you won't get it uh, reversed and there you go next thing is to uh, I need to uh, make a, a mount for it so it's sort of more sturdy alright and here's the more or less finished uh, contraption um, <laughs> I've, I've got an aluminum plate or uh, in the uh, if you're from the civilized part of the planet aluminium um, and it's bolted to that and then it's got uh, little rubber feet and on the back I've added a, a strain relief so that you're not gonna pull those things out and that's I'll, I'll play around with that see if that uh, meets my needs but I, I think that's I think that's gonna work for me um, that extra mass is from the aluminum is really handy because uh, it means it's not gonna slide around flop around or anything 